Alright YouTube, I am back with another video. This is going to be a, a glimpse at some Halo Reach multiplayer that I just did. Um, I was actually playing with a couple of guests yeah, at my own house and we are playing in the Rumble Pit playlist. And this is Elite Slayer game mode and I have chosen to play with the loadout uh, called Dark Assassin. You can see that I can turn myself invisible for short periods of time but the faster you move uh, the less effective the camouflage is. So all the loadouts kind of have a trade-off, they're good at certain things, and you'll see some of those trade-offs throughout this match. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to say this game is pretty amazing. <clears throat> I know a bunch of you have asked me to do a campaign on it, and I think I am going to do that, but I'll make a different YouTube channel for those, of, uh, for those viewers who mainly subscribe for the Total War videos. I'll just keep my Air of Carthage channel for that, and I'll make another channel and update it with videos from Xbox stuff. <clears throat> so this is probably the last Xbox video I'll put up. There, I got a nice double kill. Yeah, I'm really a big fan of the, the Needler in Halo Reach. Uh, they've kind of improved it, in my opinion. Some people think it's worse, but it seems to do quite well for me, as you can see. And I don't play perfect in this match. I make some mistakes, as you'll see, but it's pretty fun. I got to get some nice sword in the side. And get that guy, too. That guy that I just killed, Muddy308. He kind of becomes my um, nemesis, so to speak, in this match. And you'll see more of that. There I spawned, I didn't see the guy beside me, and I get wasted. Oh well. Alright. Here we go, starting off in the lift room. This map is called Countdown, for those of you who have Halo Reach. And maybe for some reason you don't recognize it. Now here I was trying to pick up some scraps, and that's where you go in trying to kill people that are in the middle of a fight didn't quite succeed, but here's the guy that took my sword, and I decide that I want my sword back. So I pick it up after a little bit of trouble getting it to appear there. Yeah, there we go. And I also realize that I left behind my precious Needler, which I can't live without. Now, one of my guests comes trying to kill me, I have a bit of a sword fail, but then decide to stick him. Yeah, I'm so nice to my guest, huh? Alright. So here I am just kind of waiting. I know there's someone that's cloaked, because that's why you see my radar scramble whenever that's one of the side effects of using the invisibility there. You can see it happening on mine. It scrambles your radar and the people around you. Now I was just invisible enough for that guy not to see me, and now I'm going to go out on the hunt. But he jetpacks off. I miss him once, but not a second time. And then I get that guy. So I'm just trying to get some kills here with the sword. And I'm not particularly successful in this endeavor. But I'll take down as many people as I can in, in the time being. So I think I can catch up with this guy, but it doesn't work out. He jetpacks off again. I don't know if the same guy I tried to stick him, but I missed. Had a couple other games that I might record for you where I got um, I got nine sticks in one game and six in the next, so I guess it was just a an early stick miss celebration for me. <laughs> anyway, there's Muddy 308. We stuck each other, and this is kind of where the rivalry heats up for him and I sticking each other. And for those of you unfamiliar with Halo, uh, sticking is whenever obviously you hit him with the sticky grenade. And right there, I almost stuck myself. There's one of the new assassinations um, that I pulled off for you right there. You can do that when you get behind someone. So I just killed that Muddy 308 guy again, right there. And I tried to stick that guy, but I didn't use a sticky grenade, and then I decided to go for a swim. Um, an accidental and deadly swim. Whoops. So, now back from my ref uh, replenishing swim there. I go straight to business throw a grenade, and there comes the kill. It was a little bit late, but I got it. And I always find people to kill out there. So that guy shot me some, but then I leave the grenade for him. When he comes on in, I finish him off. But of course he finished me too. I guess the feeling was mutual. Alright. Now there is one amazing, st uh, well, a couple of amazing sticks in this video, so I was slowing it down. I thought it was right there, but it wasn't. Anyway, I end up killing that guy with the Needler. Here comes Muddy308, and he gets me pretty good. I'll take you back on a slow motion. There you can kind of see a sticky grenade on my face. 
And this is where the rivalry definitely heated up for me. So I'm gonna take the video back here in just a second. I was a little late in responding to that whenever I was filming. So here we go back. Do do do. All right. You gotta watch the stick that he gets on me because this is what really lit up the rivalry for me. So I guess I'd killed him a couple of times, and he decides to repay me by planting a sticky grenade right there in the back of my head. Yeah. So I can't let that be the last word in our little rivalry that's been created here. So Muddy308, I am coming for you now. There goes one of my guests again that I was kind enough to needle to death. Now, I stuck that guy and something amazing happened. Um, I had totally forgotten that this was possible. He used his armor lock and it popped the sticky grenade loose and then it stuck onto my own gun and killed me. Uh, this was really pretty amazing. Now the sad thing is this guy, this guy didn't get a kill for it, it just said you committed suicide. So unfortunately for him he didn't get the kill, but man, kudos to that guy, that was amazing. Yeah, that was just brutal. Anyway, he showed me. Uh, let's see, so let's get back to my guy here. There we go, there's my corpse still flying. I'll put the video back on play. Alright. So now I'm just back on the prowl. Killed my guest again. There's Muddy308 again. And he stuck me, but I killed him with the Needler at the last second. So he and I are really going at each other, and it seems that normally um, we either kill each other, and every now and then I get away with killing him, and every now and then he gets me. So that was him again, and I gave him a good needling there and got the revenge medal. I thought someone was about to come in the door there, but I guess it was a good excuse to stick his corpse with a grenade. And there's another one of my guests. And there's Muddy308. I killed him again. So that was enjoyable. And here I get some scraps in the middle of that fight. Uh, but then I end up getting... Well, no, not quite yet. Yeah, I got some scraps in the middle of that fight, and then I needled that guy to death. But then Muddy308 comes in and kills me from the side. So if he thinks that he can deal me the business um, while I'm busy, uh, he's got another thing coming. And I still remember that grenade that he stuck on my face and I'm not gonna let him get away with that. So I have something special in store for him. Okay, no, not really on purpose, but you're gonna see that I did have something special in store for him, and neither he nor I knew that it was going to happen. And it's almost the end of the match, I need a little more revenge on him, and so we're gonna put this part into slow motion. There he pops out right in front of me with a couple of seconds left, and so I give him a stick miss present, and right there, I plant it right on his forehead, right above his mouth. So there's a nice picture for you. And he tries in vain to stick me, and misses really badly, so, haha. -ha. <laughs> the Air of Carthage comes out victor in that little rivalry, so the game-winning face stick.